Good morning, everyone. This is Howie, and I'm here to help you win with money. Another week, interesting week. Gilead got FDA approval. I'm looking forward to see what that means. There were some clues to some other new drugs or other drugs that may get approved based on the debate from this week. Let's see how the market reacts in the next coming weeks. It will be important if drugs can come out and help reduce the COVID, markets will like it. And if there's more uncertainty, it will markets will trend downward. So anyway, I like weekends because I get to go to my brokerage account, do a copy, and you guys know what I do every week. I paste this stuff into my trusty spreadsheet. Did I do that right? That looks good. Um, actually, what I, oh, okay, I don't care about the order. The order is fine. And then go back. Let me copy these. I need to grab all my trades for the 23rd, the expiration. Let me just fix this real quick. Whoops. All of these. Let me check for puts. I think I did only cover calls in the last two days. Look, all those puts look good. That looks good to me. I don't think I have to fix anything there. Do the calls. These look good to me. Unfilter. Okay, I fixed the alignment, fixed the dollar sign. I think everything else is good. Um, I think the only thing that's not good is the fonts. What fonts do they have up here? 11. And then that's it, we're back to normal. Go up here, go over here. I like to do a refresh. If this works, there you go, that looks good to me. Hit the refresh there, go to the month, hit the refresh there, and that looks good. I don't think I see anything wrong here. Everything looks good. I lost money over here. I did some Intel long call, so that should go into the negative next week or so, but we'll see how that plays out. Again, it was a bad call again, um, but the safe conservative stuff is working. Nothing fancy. Anyway, that's my weekly summary. So the game plan for next week, it's a lot of earnings. So if you guys are playing earnings, just be careful. If you're on the wrong side of the trade, you know, you can have options that are two, three, four dollars, whatever in the money that goes to work list pretty quick. So just be careful out there. If you're playing other strategies that are a little bit more safe and conservative, you should do okay. I have to manage a few trades. I created some videos on how I close some of these, some of the things that I open new. But next week, I'm just going to play conservatively, do some far out of the money cover calls. I'm probably not going to do any uh, cash secure puts. I may close a few of my, uh, I have some spreads or iron condors out there. I may have to close those. Uh, SPY, I think I'm 22 days away, so I'm fine there. I think this one is fine. We're in the middle. This one is in danger because of Visa's been going down and it's only $7 away from my short put. And that will get me in trouble even with 26 days left. I definitely didn't make, um, I think I only made like less than 20% on this trade so far. Uh, yeah, I didn't even track it yet, but it's not a lot. But this one is okay. This one is in the middle. This one will look like expired worthless. I may wait a few more days before I close it. Last time I checked, it was costing me, oh, I didn't write it down, but I think it was costing me maybe $40 to close or something like that. So I'm going to monitor my trades and see what happens. So anyway, here's the plan for next week. I'm going to try to set some of these back out to 45 days, 50 days, and we'll see what I do with those. I definitely don't like anything in the red, so I want to do that. The other thing I'm going to do is focus on making some more videos, things that are 
longer shelf life, right? Educational videos, things that teach a topic can uh, stay on YouTube much longer and those will help people more. I haven't done videos on some of my big gainers because there's not enough subscribers. So I'm gonna hold off on that. But in the future, I would love to share some of my crazy stock picks that I do on my own. Uh, I don't hide anything. You guys see, I definitely have losers, right? I'm picking these small companies or cannabis companies or CRISPR or, and sometimes they fail, right? When you, when you pick high risk stuff, they will fail. So I do that even in this portfolio. I take high risk bets. I, I buy 10 shares, 20 shares sometimes. Then I, over time I load up and then I start moving it up and we'll see what happens. But I generally play a really boring dividend strategy still, even if I add some high risk into my portfolio. So in the future, you're gonna see a lot more of those. So stay tuned and let's do this together, one dollar at a time. If you like what you saw and you want other people to know how to win with money, I want you to share this. Like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Again, this is all done on E-Trade platform. Not a lot of people show their live portfolio or live transaction data and they paste it into a spreadsheet and pivot off of it. They like to pick and choose winners. I can do that too if you want. I can just show you my 200% gainers and never show you a loser, but there's no point in that. So I'm gonna be real, we'll stick it out. Let's play conservatively again next, next week. Let's hope that uh, we all have a profitable trading week. See you then, bye-bye.